Hey there folks, Zach Smith, Pest Dude, checking out Indian Meal Moths. These are cubicle walls and there's just dozens of these Indian Meal Moths. And they're congregating here for whatever reason, uh, but they're coming from, we found a bag of, it's called Cobb, it's a horse, it's a treat for horses. And we use it sometimes in pest control to attract rats and squirrels and such, but uh, it gets infested with these stored product pests. And for many people, these are pantry pests. So I thought you'd like to see them in action. So when you have Indian meal moths, what do you do? Well, generally they're in your cupboards or in anywhere you stored dry food products, pasta, grains, oatmeal, rice, couscous, those kind of things. They're probably in the box, they're probably in the bag. Open up all your products. If you find the moths, or you see like spider webbing in, it holds the grain together like webbing, like spider webs. That's the uh, caterpillars actually walking around there leaving a trail of, of, of silk. You gotta throw it all away, okay? Wipe down, wipe up the moths you see, wipe out your cabinets and throw away all the contaminated dry goods. Transfer all your uncontaminated dry goods into like Tupperware or glass. That's airtight and seals up tight. That's the best bet for long term. Um, otherwise, buy more products um, and hope for the best. You know, the um, I don't recommend spraying anything. I don't recommend any insecticide in this case. It's easy to do this without insecticide. Now, you can get pheromone traps. If you look up, uh, we'll put a product recommendation out there, but there are pheromone traps that attract the, the, the males. So you'll catch them, but that's slow and painful in the home. You don't want to just trap them. This is more like in a warehouse where you're trying to stay on top of them or even monitor that you're starting to get them. In your home, it's really clean up. If you call a pest professional, they're gonna just tell you to throw away your contaminated food, wipe it all down. They may charge you a bunch of money to come out and look at it. I'm here to save you money, okay? Um, Indian meal moths aren't toxic. There's nothing really a, a health concern. They're just gross. They don't look good. They don't feel good. You don't wanna eat food that's full of you know, caterpillars. They're very small. You're not gonna notice them sometimes. Throw them away, wipe everything down, buy new products, and seal stuff up. If you seal all your dry goods, all uh, your dry food in like big, you know, seal top containers, um, you won't have Indian meal moths, all right? So that's the, that's the answer to the question of how did I get them? They came in with your, they came in, they just fly in, or they came in with contaminated bulk food, things like that. There'll be one in there and it'll reproduce, whatever. How you get rid of them, clean up, no pesticide needed. That's the pest food recommendation. And if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, shoot us a message and we'll be happy to help you out. All right, take care folks. Pest dude out.